In a world where every minute counts, the real challenge isn't just working harder, it's working smarter. Microsoft Power Automate steps into that space as the quiet engine that keeps your digital world running in the background. Whether you're a busy professional juggling endless emails, a team leader coordinating projects, or an entrepreneur trying to cut down on repetitive work, this tool promises to turn hours of routine tasks into a few clicks of automation. But Power Automate is more than just a productivity booster. It's an entire ecosystem of workflows, AI capabilities, and integrations designed to make your apps talk to each other. In the first part of this guide, we'll explore exactly what makes it so powerful, how it performs in the real world, and where it truly shines. Then, we'll walk step-by-step step through signing up and setting up your account, so you can move from curiosity to your first working automation in no time. By the end, you won't just understand what Power Automate can do. You'll have it working for you. Once known as Microsoft Flow, Power Automate now sits proudly in the Microsoft Power Platform, right alongside Power BI and Power Apps. The moment you open it, the interface feels inviting. No intimidating walls of code, just a clean drag-and-drop designer and a library full of ready-to-use templates. You don't have to be a developer to create something useful here. Although the more adventurous you get, the more you might dabble in expressions, APIs, or JSON. Imagine you need to approve documents from SharePoint, get notifications in Teams, and have tasks created in Planner all automatically. With Power Automate, you set it up once, and it quietly keeps working every single time. And it's not just about cloud workflows. With Power Automate Desktop, you can teach your computer to click through legacy systems, copy data, and process files without lifting a finger. The tool feels especially powerful if you live in Microsoft's world. Outlook, Excel, SharePoint, Teams, they all work together seamlessly. But it doesn't stop there. Over 500 connectors mean it can also chat with tools far outside the Microsoft family. And with AI Builder, you can add smart features like reading forms, detecting sentiment, or even recognizing objects without becoming an AI expert. It's not perfect. Big, complex flows sometimes lag, and the premium RPA and AI features can add up in cost, especially for larger teams. Still, the reliability is impressive, and Microsoft keeps rolling out updates that make the service smarter and faster. If you run a business, the possibilities are endless. Streamlining approvals, syncing customer data, automating notifications, or even cleaning up legacy processes that once ate up hours. Whether you're a manager looking to save time, an IT admin trying to reduce bottlenecks, or just someone tired of clicking the same buttons every day, Power Automate offers a way out of the grind. In the end, it's hard not to see it as more than just a tool. It's a digital coworker that never takes breaks, never complains, and works exactly how you've taught it to. For anyone already deep in a Microsoft 365, it feels less like an add-on and more like a missing puzzle piece finally clicking into place. Now, let's talk about signing up and setting up your first account. But first, I request you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel before we can proceed. Sign up process starts the moment you decide to give Microsoft Power Automate a try. You open your browser and type in the address, powerautomate.microsoft.com. The homepage greets you with clean visuals and a promise to take care of what's important. You notice two buttons, sign in and sign up for free. If you already have a Microsoft account, maybe from Outlook, Microsoft 365, or Azure, you simply sign in. If not, you click create one and enter your email or phone number. Microsoft sends you a quick verification code and within seconds, your account is ready. Next comes the choice of plan. If you're new to automation, the free plan or trial version is enough to explore. Later, you can decide if you want the premium RPA and AI capabilities. Once you sign in, you land on the Power Automate dashboard. It feels like a control center, templates ready to use, a menu of automation types, and a clear path to your first flow. But before jumping in, you make a quick detour to your profile settings. A click on your profile picture at the top right opens the View Account page, where you update your display name, upload a picture, and set your time zone, important for scheduling flows. With your profile ready, 
it's time to connect your apps. From the left-hand menu, you head to Data Connections. A large button says Plus New Connection. Clicking it opens a long list of familiar names. Outlook, SharePoint, Teams, Excel, but also third-party tools like Slack, Dropbox, and Google Drive. For each, you sign in and give Power Automate permission to work with your data. Now comes the fun part, building your first automation. You click Create and choose what type of flow you want. An automated flow that triggers when something happens, an instant flow you can launch manually, or a scheduled flow that runs at set times. You pick one, select a trigger, add your actions, maybe include a condition or two, and click Save. Before calling it done, you test your creation. The test button runs it in real time, and if everything works, you watch the magic happen. Emails get sent, tasks appear, files move, without you lifting a finger. From there, it's all about exploring. You might download Power Automate Desktop to automate clicks and keystrokes on your PC, try out AI Builder to give your flows some intelligence, or dive into process mining to discover new opportunities for automation. In just a short time, you've gone from signing up to running your own digital assistant, a tireless, rule-following worker that never complains and always runs on schedule. If you found this guide helpful, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. I will be bringing you more insights on various productivity tools. This is a minute with AI. Let me know if you have any question in the comment section. Until next time, it's bye for now.